Hello everyone and how's it going? In this video we will be working with intents. So we will see what is an intent, how we can create an intent and how we can navigate from one screen to another using intents. So we'll start with defining an intent. Android intent is the message that is passed between components such as activities, content providers, broadcast receivers and services. So we will be using an intent to navigate from one activity or screen to another activity or screen. Now let us see how we can use an intent in a real project to navigate from one activity to another. As you can see, I have already set up a project and it contains one activity as of now. We will be adding another activity to it. To create an activity, we'll click on the file, we'll select new and then we'll select activity and we're gonna pick empty activity. Now we are going to name our activity and I'm going to call it example activity. We'll leave generate a layout file as checked and I'm going to click on finish. Our example activity is all set up as we can see here and we can see it contains a Java file and an associated XML file. With all of that being set up, we'll be navigating from one activity to another on click of a button. We are going to define a button in the main activities XML file and on clicking that we'll be navigating to example activity. So let's see all of that in action. Alright, so we'll start by defining a button in main activities XML file. So we are going to open the main activities XML file and we are going to pick a button and drag it down in the layout below. Now we are going to position our button below the hello world text view. So we are going to define the constraints on the button. Now we can see that our button is showing below the hello world text. To reference the view in our activity, we are going to give it an ID. So I'm going to give it an ID and let's call it a button. Make sure to get the spellings right. We are also going to change the text and let's call it login. Now we are going to define a text view in our examples activities layout file. So we are going to select a text view. We are going to drag it down in our layout below and we are going to define or add the constraints. and we'll position it right here. We will change the text attribute and we are going to call it example activity. Now we are going to bring our button that we have to find in the XML file into the activity. So for that we are going to create a button object we'll call it button and we are going to import the button class. Now we are going to bring our button into the activity. So what we are going to do is we are going to call a function called find view by id and we are going to provide the id that we have set in the xml file. So we are going to provide the id by calling r.id.button and button is the ID that we have set in the layout file. And we are going to set it equal to our button object that we have created above. Now we have our button object and we are going to set a click listener on it. So we are going to call set on click listener on button object. Now we are going to create an object of an anonymous class that has implemented view dot on click listener interface. So we are going to type new view dot on click listener and we are going to pass that object inside our button dot set on click listener. So we have this function called on click and this will be triggered whenever we press our button. So we are going to define our intent object inside of this function. To navigate to our example activity we are going to define an intent object inside of this function. So we are going to type intent 
we are going to call it intent and we are setting it equal to a new intent object. Now we are going to pass two things inside of our intent constructor. We are going to pass a context object. So we are going to type a main activity dot this. Since activities extend from the context class, we can say that they are the context. And the second thing is the fully qualified class name of the component that we want to invoke. So we are going to navigate to example activity. So we will be passing example activity dot class. So we are done setting up our intent object and this is an example of explicit intent. So we have two types of intent, explicit intent and implicit intents. So we typically use an explicit intent to start a component in our own app because we know the class name of the activity or service we want to start. Now to start our example activity, we are going to call another function start activity and we are going to pass in our intent object that we have defined above. Now we are going to run our program to see the output. So we are going to click this play button. We'll wait for the build to finish and we have our program up and running. So to navigate to the example activity, we are going to click the login button. And once we do that, we can see that we have navigated to our example activity. That's how we navigate from one activity to another. So that's it for this video and we are going to look at different types of intent and some other functionalities in upcoming videos.